This is our uh, simulation, clinical simulation laboratory. And in this environment, we uh, simulate um, a hospital environment. It gives students an opportunity to function in the role of the RN uh, and intervene in uh, critical events without risk of harm to the patient. Our mannequin is a high fidelity computer controlled mannequin uh, that has physiological responses. So he's got a, a physiological program pro, uh, uh, programmed into him, just like you do in your bodies. So if we give him fluids, we give him medications, um, and things like that. So uh, today, uh, you're going to meet our patient, uh, he's Stan Ardman. And Stan is a 62-year-old Marin County resident. And he had a, a total hip replacement, and right hip replacement, two days ago. And uh, Stan's going to be uh, going home today. So uh, the doctor's written some discharge orders already. And his primary nurse uh, is Molly. And she's going to be coming in and uh, getting him ready to go home. So. Hi. My name is Molly. I'm going to be your nurse today. Just let me go wash my hands. Okay. How are you feeling today, Mr. Hardman? I actually feel great. I expected to have tons of pain after this surgery, and uh, that seems like it never happened. Uh, I, it's either they gave me too many drugs or... Uh, uh, it's just the way it goes, but I'm happy nevertheless. Well, that sound, all sounds really good. Just before we keep going, can I have you verify your first and last name and date of birth? Yeah, it's uh, Stanley Ardman, and that's what I've been for the last 62 years. I, I'll be 63 on May 14th. I kind of hope not to spend it here. Well, I have good news. We have discharge orders for you to go home today. Wow, awesome. Yeah. Uh, when is that going to happen? So in about an hour and a half, we have some paperwork to go through, and I have some questions to ask you, and then you'll be free to go. Uh, awesome. So in about 45 minutes, I'll have to make sure and call my wife and give her a bit of an advance warning. Okay, that sounds good. So what I'm going to do right now is just go over a quick assessment. I'll listen to your heart, your lungs, take a set of vital signs, check your dressing, and then I'll ask you some more questions. Sounds good. Okay. So do you have any pain right now? Uh, no, no pain. And how are you breathing? Mr. Eidman, how are you breathing? Uh, it's fine. I, I don't have any problems breathing whatsoever. Okay, good. So take a deep breath for me. Again. Again. One last time. Okay, now listen to your heart. You won't actually be able to drive for about six weeks. Well, six weeks? How am I supposed to get to work? Uh, uh, oh boy. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have uh, to ask my wife to leave early with me and just drop me off. Boy, that feels like back to, uh, back to elementary school type of situation. Uh, I'm sure it must be hard. Yeah, what about pain? Mr. Ardman? Mr. Ardman? He's unresponsive. Code blue. Blue orthopedics unit. 
Code Blue Orthopedics Unit. Hi, are you the primary nurse? I am. Can you tell me what happened? I have a 62-year-old male here. Mm -hmm. Two days post-op, right hip replacement. He was talking and he just became unresponsive. Okay. He has a history of CAD and osteoarthritis. He doesn't have a pulse. What? He does this. Okay, so let's begin compressions. Okay, beginning compressions. Compressions One, beginning two, at three, four, four twenty-eight. Five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Can you go and give me two breaths? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's analyze the heart rhythm. Analyzing heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. Shock advised. Charging. Okay, we're gonna Stay shock clear on three. of patient. Okay, one arm clear. Deliver shock Two now. Clear. Press the three. orange button now. Delivering shock. Shock delivered. Paused. Go ahead and resume If needed, begin CPR. Resuming compressions. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, two, eight, two, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five. Lori, can you prepare one milligram of Epi, please? One milligram of Epi. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five. One milligram of Epi given. One milligram of Epi recorded. Turn five, turn six, turn seven, turn eight, turn nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five. Turn five, turn six, turn seven, turn eight, turn nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five. After the cycle, we're going to reanalyze. Turn 5, turn 6, turn 7, turn 8, turn 9, 30. Reanalyzing. Analyzing heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. Shock advised. Okay, we're going to shock Charging. Three. Stay clear of patient. Deliver shock now. I'm clear. Press Two, the orange clear? button Three. now. Delivering shock. Shock delivered. Paused. We have a rhythm back. Mr. Ardman. What are you doing on my own? Mr. Ardman, you just lost consciousness. I passed out. Why is my chest hurting instead of my hip? We had to do CPR on you. So I. Uh, Die or something? Something like that. Oh boy. Well, I guess I have a lot to be thankful for. I'm so sorry, but you're not going to be able to go home today. Oh boy, that's a bummer. Have I ever called my wife? We'll call your wife and she'll be here shortly. Oh boy. Well, I guess not going home is not the worst thing that could have happened to me. So I, I definitely appreciate you being here. That's what we're here for. You're going to be transferred to the ICU, and we'll let your wife know where to find you. Okay. Can I have something for my chest hurting? Yes, we'll get you something for that. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Arden.